Well, inspiration can come from the most unlikely of places, like this pond located next to the interstate in Butte. It's one of the many urban waterways that are little hidden gems that have helped a tech student find his passion for birding through the Berkeley Pitt Waterfowl Protection Program. For the Berkeley Pitt Waterfowl Protection Program, uh, my job or our job in the, in the area is to give the people at the pit an idea of what kind of species are in the area since they use a species-based hazing program up there. The students involved in the program are an extra set of eyes for the Montana Resources team who work to keep birds off the toxic waters. But for Dr. Stella Capisha, the work being done by her team also raises the importance of urban wetlands in a society that views these areas as ugly and useless. So we have a lot of words for urban wetlands that are less desirable, bogs, swamps, mucky areas. And when you stop and look at the diversity that you have in these areas, you realize how important they are. And so looking at an urban wetland for its reproductive purposes shows you how certain species really rely on these little isolated water islands to be able to have their babies and raise them and contribute to the production of the species. I see a baby right behind you. Let's take a look and see what it is. And there might be a coot and, oh, there's a baby coot. Oh my goodness. For Dr. Capisha and her team, the wetlands also provide a positive space for humans as they can connect with a little island of nature within the city. When you're here at sunrise, you know, or you're out on the other ponds at sunrise, it's, uh, I don't know, I get a peace from it, you know, a sense of peace, clarity, kind of, you get to watch all these different animals kind of going about their daily routines and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a form of meditation, I think. In Butte, Megan Thompson, MTN News.